Evening all, and welcome back to Factorio. I am joined again by Nerdy Old Gamer. Hello, hello. He's always there. I am always there. lurking in the shadows. We wouldn't have it any other way. That's a weird thing to say after our previous conversation. But anyway, it, it, um, it is actually. What, what are you going to go up to? Um, what are you going to go up to? Uh, what are you gonna go up to? I don't know. What are you up to? What, um, what, what are you doing this episode? Uh, I, I I'm still working on the working? on the smelting thing. Uh, well, the actually the mining thing. Oh, okay. Oh, you to do. Oh, okay. Uh, so so yeah, I, I was just getting some belts because we need more. And um. I'm figuring out how many belts I actually have of iron here somehow. Uh, uh, it will probably not be precise, but it'll be there or thereabouts. Uh, what about you? I am trying to sort out these copper trains because we're still having issues with them going to the center uh, roundabout. Mm -hmm. So I need to try and fix them. And how do you make an orange color? Uh, Mix it with the red and yellow. Uh, there is no yellow. Red and green. Uh, I, I thought it was red, red and, and green. Red and, red and green goes from red through sand to yellow. It doesn't really go orange. Uh, well, do you know more about colors than I do? Because I'm colorblind. Okie dokie. Um, so I just want to differentiate the, the the copper ore trains and the copper plate trains. Uh huh. Um, and you thought that red, but, yellow, orange would be helpful for me as well. Well, I was trying to make them the color of the ore and the color of the plates, but they're both the same. So I'm going to make them pink. Okay. Okay. Copper plate trains are becoming pink. All right. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to change... Pink is the darkish blue-black thing, right? Well, pink pink is this train right here next to me. You see this train right here? Where, where are you? Over oh, there. Uh, by the copper trains. Yeah, yeah the dar darkish bluish black thing. If that's darkish bluish black, then you're... Your colorblindness <laughs> is more severe than I thought. Uh, no, it, it is not Darius Blue's Black. Yeah, I, I was just messing with you, but. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> uh, but to me, that train is not pink. I, I, I okay. would, I, I would say. What, grey? Well, this this train right here? This... Yeah. Grey? Yeah, greyish. It's got a 100% a, a red and 100% blue. Well, that <laughs> obviously makes grey, then. What, what about the train above it? Oh, this, is... this one is like a, a red Go, go gold thing? Gold? Gold is closer. That's all right. Pink and grey. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I call that turn grey. Okay. Okay. Uh, and interesting fact, I thought when you rename a station, it causes the trains that had that station to get renamed with it, but it I, does not. I thought so too. No, it apparently does not. Which may cause a problem. How so? Uh, because I was hoping to get all the trains to come and stop here, uh, like all the plate trains are done, I've got all the plate trains stopped, and then I was hoping to get all the ore trains to come here as well. Uh huh. That's not going to work, is it? Maybe instead I'll do this, I'll put that back to be copper holding, that'll work, and then we'll change this one to copper plate holding, because I have the plate trains here right now. 
And I want to separate them out so that I can put one on one roundabout and one on the other. Okay. That's the plan. I'll make this box pink as well. There we go. Let's try something. It should be the same distance between them, right? So that should be right. Ah, I'm under attack. Fighters are coming in from the top. Go kill them! Kill them! I will. I will go up there with vastly superior nuclear weapons. Fantastic. That sounds like a plan. Okay, I messed that up completely, didn't I? Well done. not have my nuclear weapons on me because I listened to Pete and didn't put them in there because if, apparently if you use all your rockets they will auto fill from your trunk and that could be devastating I I I, I do explosive is fun well, well uh, explosive uh, I don't know about the fun because I did actually blow up most of something and, and it wasn't very much fun so, oh. yeah, ex explosive, but not fun. When you blow up something that you just spent half an hour building or something like that. Actually almost made me cry. Ah. That's not good. No. We don't. Cry crying is no good. Crying is no good. Only if you need to. If you really need to, then it's okay to cry. But try yeah, to avoid absolutely. it. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with crying. Nothing wrong at all with crying. Being happy is better. I, I cry at many an anime. Anime cartoon? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, I, I've, I've been... I've, I don't know whether you are an anime fan or not, but I've been watching a lot of the... Uh, 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 slice of life animes they're called um, okay. and uh, on on Pornhub or what some, some of them are um, very uh, very sad on what sorry Pornhub <laughs> you're thinking of hentai you're thinking of hentai that's a completely different thing oh uh, okay <laughs> I, I didn't know there was a difference. Yeah, no, no. Um, anime is just basically Japanese cartoons. Okay. But it's it's called anime because it has its own sort of category for it. Um, hentai is what you're thinking of with the weird things there. But no, there's some of them that really get you in the feels. They really do. Okay. Uh, I am confused. I am very, very confused. I have just renamed this stop to Copper Ore Holding. Mm-hmm. I renamed one of them, and it tells me there are three. Where are the other Copper Ore Holding station stops? Look. Apparently they're all here, but I've only renamed one of them. Apparently you did it very 
diligently. Apparently so. Or you need to go see a doctor about your memory. Yeah. Considering I literally just, yeah. something dramatic because the whole game just started uh i am putting down uh, a lot of uh, belts ah yeah <laughs> i was like what what's what's causing what's causing an earthquake but uh, uh I, I i'm doing it one by one so it shouldn't be dramatic um in that sense I I, it, it felt like a, a mega um uh, like a mega blueprint or something yeah. No. Nothing like that. Perfect. Fair enough. Maybe it's just my brain not working. Well, it seems like it because you forgot that you renamed three train stations. The thing is, I've only renamed one. <laughs> How do you know if you forgot the other two? No, I have literally only renamed one. One of them is called Copper Ore Holding. All the rest are called Copper Holding. But the system's telling me there are three of them here. Okay. But there isn't three of them here. Oh, unless it's on the other side and I missed... Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. It's on the other side. It's on the other side. I didn't. I miss. I miss renaming some of the stations. That's what it was. There we go. That's why there's three of them. Of course, the map just shows me like this whole parking area. So, uh, that's helpful. Thank you, map. <coughs> right. So I did twelve trains. I now need to do another eight. There should be eight more trains coming. Come on, train. Come on. This is where I really wish we did have a mod that actually does the whole. Hey, you can rename lines train lines. Ah, that would be so sweet but the only one that i saw didn't really work pretty well but... i suppose the good thing about having a game at this sort of this sort of uh progress with everything unlocked and everything built and things running is that you could test mods on it for future use yeah absolutely We need four more trains. Four more copper trains should be coming. How many lines is this? Twin. Okay. That's two lines. How's that possible? That's not 20 lines. There's nowhere near 20 lines. How the hell do you figure 20? Five trains. There are more trains. Great. 
This one, this one. Okay, no. If you come, uh, that that needs to be stopped. We have a copper ore patch over here that is no longer in any form. It's actually run out of copper. Uh, I've turned off uh, a couple of uh, stone patches, I think. That one right there has used up all of its copper. It is completely gone, utterly dry. So I've right disabled there. the stop. Yeah. And then... Sounds... Sounds like a... Reasonable thing too. We have one here that's at sixty-two thousand copper. Uh, I don't know how many was left, uh, but I need you to come to the holding point, please. Um, Missed one. Okay. Right, no one. Hang on there. Hang on there. Hang on there. And. Oh, I've got a couple that are. Uh... Two, two, three, four more. My god, my memory is so bad, it's unbelievable. What did you forget? About 10, 15 episodes ago? Mm hmm. Oh, that's a long time ago. You can be excused for forgetting that. I disabled our red science. Why? Um, because it was causing problems with the trains. Uh, because you, we've got four stop-offs, four, four, eight, eight belts for the trains that unload, and it was only being filtered down to half a belt. Mm -hmm. And trains were being sat there for so long, so I disabled it so that it would be, it would rebuild. I could, okay. I could redo the trains on it. Um, and there's a train parked there, and it's just doing nothing because, yeah. Wow. Wow! Right, must remember to do that. I need, I need to, I need to remember to do that. How am I going to remember to do that? I like uh, taking notes. I would take notes, but then I'd leave. The, I'd, I'd forget. I'd, I'd be like, "What does that mean?" <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. Let's find an archaic writing implement called a pencil. Put in big capital letters. Take uh, notes. Or, or, or that wasn't the message. The message was. Who, who plan? Who plan stuff? Come on, I, I don't plan anything. I just jump in and, and do it on the on the cusp. Yeah. I know professional uh, YouTubers do that sort of thing. Yeah. But who wants to watch them? Seven. Right, uh, seven. So there's one more train somewhere. Um, this is stuck. You, you are stuck because you are actually physically stuck because you have no path to things. That makes sense. That makes sense. So we've got one broken one there. To be fair, my statement about taking notes was only half because I like to take notes and then I never read them and I forget what to do okay and that that goes for work life YouTube relationships going to the toilet <laughs> anything really I write it down and then I forget where the note is, so I forget what I was supposed to do, and then I wing it. <laughs> that, 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 that's my MO. 
that's yeah that's that's generally what i follow is just the whole let's just make it up as we go yeah see what happens yeah um because i find it's yeah. it usually works better for me if i do that yeah yeah i mean planning stuff is like oh it, it never goes right anyway no um, so But when, when it comes to the whole YouTube thing, I have definitely found that I find it more enjoyable to watch people that are just going as they go. Uh, just, you know, um, oh, I've got a, a sort of plan, but we're just going to go and do whatever. Um, it's more exciting than somebody who has, like, we're going to do this, and then we're going to do that. and then Yeah, who has everything figured out beforehand. Yeah. Yeah. They can be great for tutorial things. Um, Absolutely. For tutorials, Neil House, they're great. Like Neil House. Mm. Fantastic. He, he plans everything out and has it all, all done and what is that. But that's that's great. But then obviously he explains everything as he goes, so that's fantastic. But Nilas is good. Yes, yeah, very, very good. Um But I find there's a lot of people we've had this conversation before. Yeah, uh, we have we have. Uh, 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 a lot of people that do the whole um So we're gonna do this and I'll be right back once I built it. And then they built it and they never show you the problems they had whilst building it. They're like, oh, well, I had to change this. Like, why, why did you have to change that? What, what went wrong? What, what? Exactly. So, so, so they, they say, I, I have a plan and it was flawless. Yeah. Uh, but, but then when you try to do what the plan was on your own, it, it, it really wasn't flawless. Because they fixed things along the way that they didn't, never told you about. Which is frustrating. <laughs> that's that's the thing, yeah. Especially if you're uh, uh, the whole um, they build it on screen mm -hmm. uh, and then go right. This isn't working. Something's wrong with it. Hold on a minute. We'll be right back. I I have done that myself actually. And, and then and then and then they come back and go. All right, I fixed it. And this was the problem. And then they carry on. It's like, no, show me how you fixed it because now I've copied you and I can't get it working either. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I fully agree. Oh, oh, I've made a mistake. Oh, no, you haven't. You don't make mistakes. We don't make mistakes in this YouTube series. That's true. We just that, that, was, that, that was the agreement when we started this playthrough that we would not make mistakes. I have had a happy little accident um, with the trains because I should have 20 trains doing the plates and 20 doing the ore. I've got 21 doing the ore and 20, 19 doing the plates. Oh. So one of the trains that is heading to the copper ore holding is a plate train. The question is, is it going to drop off copper ore at the copper plate drop off? No, no, it should still do its thing. It should still do its thing fine. Because... Um, uh, it can choose where it wants to go to. It's just that I've put the wrong holding stop in it. And finding one train in 20 when you can't pause the game is difficult. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, but, I, I, but I think if you click the, uh, the train station, they are always yep. in the same order. So if you click the train station and see the trains that have this stop, then I think they're always in the same order. Ah, okay. So you can just go left to right and up to bottom. Them, yeah. So I suppose if I just scroll down here and see one that says, um, I'm heading to copper plate, heading to copper ore, heading to copper ore, heading to copper ore. Uh, does the train menu do that? Because trains in the train menu, it says what they're doing, don't they? Yeah, I'm pretty so, sure it does. Copper ore holding, copper ore drop off, copper ore pick up, 20 trains. One train has copper ore holding, plate pick up, plate pick up. So I can click on that train. And then I can remove that station. And I can add. Where are we That's being attacked? It. There we go. 
Move back. Hey. Move back. Being attacked at the iron, and there is nothing defend it. Defending it. Okay. It's okay. There's a spider troll on the way. Okay, you you you're coming. I'm heading there. I'm right. heading there, and I'm gonna call the nuclear train, and we're gonna go and deal with them. Okay. Seems like a good way to end the episode. Yeah. Oh, it's very right. clearly <clears throat> they need to be taught a lesson. Very clearly. Oh, when you set that Spidertron on the way, I I got such a flashback to my childhood. So with a uh, here I come to save the day, Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse is on the way. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> so I've just. Defended and rebuilt iron mines that no longer are mining iron, but that's fine. Yeah. Well, useless mines are part of the game. I love Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse. Super Ted. Mm. She loves Super Ted as well. Super Ted? Who the hell is Super Ted? Super Ted. Don't matter. That was obviously a British thing then. Um, Super Ted was, uh, he was a teddy that was left in someone's loft and a wizard came down and granted him superpowers so he can go around and rescue children around the world. No, uh -huh. no, a wizard, not wizard, uh, a moon man, a moon man called Spotty, I think it was. Wow, it's been a long time since I've watched this. Uh, he came down, sprinkled moon dust on him and he became Super Ted. And he, he rips off his fur and underneath it has a super suit. And then puts his fur back on on top to hide himself. That was, okay. That was it was a fun kids costume. Okay. Just put it that way. Yeah. Is it like uh, what's the name of the movie with uh, Mark Wahlberg and the teddy bear? No, no, no. no. Ted is obviously um, Ted. Adult. Yeah. Uh, uh, he was that sort of teddy bear though. He, he was that sort of sort of style of teddy bear. But... Okay. But not as a uh, graphical. If 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 you liked Mighty Mouse and that sort of style of cartoon, then you probably would like Super Ted. Obviously, mm. we're a bit older now, so it's not a good thing. But back then, it was like oh, Super Ted. Oh, okay. It was the whole thing of that. Um, that's what teddies do. That's the reason you have teddy bears is that they protect you from the things at night. Oh, oh that that's a uh, that's pretty cool. That's that's uh, that's what teddies do. Yeah, yeah. That is their purpose. Yeah. Uh, funny enough, I I still uh, don't, don't tell anyone. Uh, I still sleep with uh, two kind of teddy bears because my wife won't freaking let them go. I I still have my I don't sleep with them anymore, but I still have my childhood teddy bear. Uh, I, I I don't have anything from my childhood, I think, uh, except my naivete. Uh, <laughs> but um, uh, I had a, a t he he was brought. Uh, in the hospital when I was born, mm -hmm. so he's just as old as I am, and I still have him now. Oh, cool! Um, so, uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I sleep with uh, my wife, my cat, and my wife's two teddy bears, and and basically, uh, well, basically, I sleep on the floor, don't I? So. <laughs> Sleep in the doghouse. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. There, there's more space for uh, everyone else than me. Uh, uh, I have fallen that's... out of bed before. <laughs> that's, that's, but, uh, I mean, uh, uh, are you one of those people where if the cat is sleeping, you'd rather starve to death than move the cat? Uh, no, not me, but my wife is. No? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, See, I've uh, never uh, been a cat person. I've, I'm, I've, 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 uh, I've, I, I've preferred them. I, I prefer dogs as well. Uh, I had two dogs when I was a kid. Well, I had first one, and then uh, she got pregnant, and we had eight others. Ah. Uh, I uh, yeah. Uh, and we kept one of them. So, uh, so yeah, I've always been a dog person. Uh, but I do uh, our cat. I, I I do love her. Our cat. I mean, I mean, I I'm just a pet person in general, except for creepy crawly things that people call pets. That's yes, I I understand that statement completely. 
Um, so, so yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just a pet person. Uh, I like cats and dogs and uh, not so much horses because one threw me off once and it uh, hurt. I, I don't see a horse as a pet. No. I don't, I, don't I, 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 I get it. I, 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 I do get that some people have them, but they're not. Then you you ride a horse, don't you? you yeah. You, you have a, 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 you don't ride a dog or or, or well, it's right. there's, there's nothing. Uh, unless it's a Grand Dame. You, you could if I've I, I've seen my nieces and nephews ride dogs before when they were little, but um, yeah. Uh, but it's but, more that you uh, uh, a horse is a utility an animal I don't, I don't know yeah yeah a utility, i mean you ride it for fun you're not riding it to to go somewhere to that but i don't they 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 they're in yeah, a different but, class to pets they yeah they are to... i mean i mean you, you, you don't you, 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 you don't sleep in the same bed as your horse not really yeah and you don't go out and just pet them no I mean, you do you you just break horses you feed them carrots or whatever and yeah, yeah but you don't but the, the 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 horse doesn't go down on its back and reveal all its glory for you to love it yeah that's yeah um basically i yeah. mean i mean yeah, uh, I it's, it's a it's a weird thing i don't it's 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 a very weird mm. thing i get having horses but they don't fall into the same category as pets for me. No, I I, I agree. But but uh, uh, so does the the, the tiny pigs uh, that people have as pets now. I I, I don't understand that. I, I suppose from my perspective, it's that if it's in your in your house, then it's a pet. Then, yeah, then it's a pet. Mm. Tiny yeah. pigs can fall into that category. So I get that. And and you you could you could curl up with a pig on the sofa. Um, <laughs> you know, you could. <laughs> that, that, you know? that statement could be misunderstood in so many ways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mistakes, mistakes were made. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm laughing so hard it hurts. <laughs> that that wasn't um uh <laughs> um uh yeah that wasn't um <laughs> get up with a pig on the sofa. That's not exactly what I meant to say there. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A, a literal pig. A, a literal pig. You could, you know. You know yeah. Uh, God. I'm going to stop talking. We should end the episode because we've run out of time. Yeah, we, we have run out of time. <laughs> <laughs> Which is probably a good thing. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, dear. Oh, it's been one of those days today. This week's episodes have been very entertaining, I must say. Yeah. From, they've from been my fun. perspective, anyway. Um, yeah, they've been fun. Uh, oh. Yeah. Curl up with a okay. pig on the sofa. So, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed this one, and uh, hope to see you again next time. Until then, as always, have fun. Bye bye. <laughs>